Hello everyone, you still the fan of the Agatha Kizoba. You're welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we pray that the Almighty God will help us with all we have and now without him there is nothing we can do. With him, we are more than conquerors. We pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, we want to look at life problems involving sex today. Life problem, we want to look at life problem involving sex. Okay? Now, let's look at the problem number four. In a family of 12, in a family of 12, nine eat beans, six eat rice, and four eat both rice and beans. Now, the question is this. How many eat beans only? How many eat rice only? How many eat beans or rice? And how many eat neither beans nor rice? Okay. When you are given such questions, look at it very well. In a family of 12, you have nine that eat beans, and six that eat rice. Okay, if you say nine plus six now, what, what would be the answer? Nine plus six is 15. Are they up to 15? No. Okay, so something, there is possibility that there are some that eat uh, beans and still eat rice. So let's look at how to tackle questions like this. One is this, you make your notation. Let's Denote as follows this for the number that eat beans. Then this is notation. Is notation. You are free to use any notation you like. Okay? Yes. So, but whatever you define it to be, you use it in the question. So we said let this one here with this heart here, number of B with heart, denote the number that eat only beans. Only beans. Then this one for number that eat rice and uh, number that eat only rice. Now we use this for number that eat rice or beans, beans or rice. Why this? Number of those that eat both beans and rice. They eat rice, they eat beans, they can eat both. Okay? Now, how do we solve this? Let us first of all represent it in a Venn diagram. Let's see it in a Venn diagram, okay? Now, what calls for this intersection? Now, what calls for it? What calls for it is the, the, the question, the way the question is, Suggest tells you that something is here. Even if nothing is there, there is no problem. You can even do this. You can even do that and look at the question and see if nothing is there. No problem. It will be empty. Nothing will be there. But as it is now, it shows that something is there. There is intersection. So this is number of people that eat beans is uh, nine. Let's say this is for beans. Huh? Number is nine. The whole of this nine, the whole of this is a uh, six. We are told that four eat both rice and beans. So it's even there, it's explicit in the question given. It's explicit in the question. All right. Now, the question now is how many eat? How many eat beans only? How many eat beans only? Since everything here, those that eat beans is nine. If you want to get those that eat beans only, what you do is to remove the those ones that eat both beans and rice. Remove them so that you can have those ones that eat only beans. Okay? So is this the whole of this? Nine minus four. Eat beans only. So we have MB. That's the finality of those that eat beans is equal to eat beans only. Only is equal to the number that eat beans 
minus the number that it both brings and uh, writes, which is number that it, it brings is nine, nine minus those that it brings. This brings you five. Okay? Now, how many it writes only? As you did in this one, similarly, we have that is equal to the number that it writes minus that of intersection. That gives you rise six minus four. Two of them it writes only. Another question there is how many it writes or beans? Those of them that can eat rice and uh, or those of them that can eat beans. Or, when it is or, it is a union. You want to talk about the cardinality of the union. So, is the number is given as the number of those that eat beans plus the number of those that eat rice minus mm -hmm. the intersection so that there will be no repetition. Why? If you don't minus the intersection, what do you have? If you don't minus it, you will have number of those that it brings 9 plus uh, uh, 6. It will be 15. And you are told there is a family of uh, 12. So there is no way it can be that. You have to remove the number, this intersection. Those that eat both, okay, to avoid repetition. So we have this as what? 9 plus 6 minus 4. This gives us what? 11. Okay, that's 11. All right. Now the next question says, how many eat neither rice nor beans? So we want to know. Those of them that are outside here, that are outside here, they don't eat rice, they don't eat beans. How do we get that? There are two ways you can do that. One is to get the complement of the union, the number, the cardinality of the complement of the union. That's it. Number of those that eat beans, union rice, complement. A complement, the number of this. Okay? Which is equal to, is given as, since we have only two subsets here, only two subsets in the, the subset of the universal set, we can do that as by getting the number in the universal set minus the number, the cardinality. Remember what cardinality is? Cardinality of uh, this uh, union, which is equal to the number of the universal set is 12 minus 11 is equal to 1. Okay? Now, if you don't want to do it this way, it is the same thing. It's the same thing. Doing it the other way, that is, you add this plus this plus this and then you remove it from the universal from 12 that's the number okay so actually that is what we did but i want you to see clearly that what you have here is the same thing as saying 12 that's the whole you now remove you are removing those that eat beans those that eat rice, or even when you even if you are if you are eating both beans and rice, want to remove everything so that you now know those that don't even eat, they don't eat beans, they don't eat uh, rice. So you remove them, you remove the number. Those of them that eat only only beans, only beans is uh, nine minus four, which is you are removing this five plus. Four, those both, and then what? This is two. 
remove that. Eventually, you have it as what? 12 minus what? 12 minus 9, 11. Equal to 12 minus 11. That's the same one. So you, you can use this method. Can use this method or this method. They are eventually the same thing. The two things are the same. Just for you to see what we mean by this. What this thing is. Okay? You can see that is exactly is exactly this. What we have here. Okay? We have one. So you have one of them. Don't eat beans. And it doesn't also eat uh, rice. Okay? So you, you now see a life problem. When we talk about it, you say, ah, all these things we are writing on the board, what, what are they for? You can see how we now use it now to resolve this uh, particular problem in this uh, family, okay? So, and what is the significance? What is the significance of that? Yes, you need to know all these things because you have to budget for certain things. You have to know those that eat which one they eat and then make your budget, okay? So that uh, you don't just uh, uh, budget, uh, you don't have a budget that favors some and don't favor some because you don't have to be partial in the family. Okay? There is need to consider everybody. There is need to consider everybody uh, uniqueness in the family in making your budget. Okay? So, next time we are going to see more problem on set. I just introduced this one to you for you to appreciate all those concept where uh, those notations uh, we, we talked about in the last uh, video so my viewer i still want to tell you to subscribe to my channel if you have not done so if this is your first time of coming coming in please try to subscribe to encourage and uh, you can share and like and most importantly i want you to see that mathematics is relevant relevant in everything we do. Thank you so much. See you next time.